This organization has ensured that the Golden Rule is at the heart of its work. And please, may I call your attention to the video screen. We help people be independent, and whether you're a little child learning how to tie your shoes, to an older person who's just had a stroke and is having to relearn how to feed themselves, it's all about independence. It's about keeping people independent for as long as possible. I'm Michelle Dionisio, and I'm the president of Benavia. Um, I started with the organization 22 years ago as a program operations manager. I had come to the Sun Cities area from the city of Scottsdale. I had worked as a social worker at the um, city of Scottsdale working with the seniors. And I was told by a friend about um, the opportunity here in the Sun Cities at that time to work at Interfaith Community Care. and. Um, was really thrilled about this because their whole mission was about helping people stay independent, living as long as possible in their own homes. And that vision really and philosophy aligned nicely with mine. My name is David, David Burroughs. I'm the last living member of the Organizing Committee of Interfaith Services at Sun City, now called Benavia. A letter arrived in the board meeting. <laughs> And uh, she started reading it, and as she began to read about this woman and her problems and so forth, I could see the tears right start in her eyes, and I looked over at her and I said, oh my goodness, <laughs> she's filled with love, she's really uh, identifying like this. And she kept going on and going on, and until the tears were running down her cheeks, and I took my handkerchief and I said, here. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's touching because you know the people are really in need. Oh and when you can match such dedicated people to help meet that need. I mean, right here in our own backyard, there are people that are in need like that. We pay a, a great attention to restoring people's skills and abilities, and it gets back to those skills that help them be able to take care of themselves. We're going to his 50th class reunion in about 10 days back in Minnesota. And I know if it weren't for Benavia, we wouldn't have even considered it. Well, if I didn't go to Benavia, I'd just be sitting at home, not doing a heck of a lot. After I started going, I absolutely love it. I remember when we instituted the first day uh, grocery shopping. Uh, it was amazing to see the number of volunteers that came and spent time taking the list for the groceries and then going down to the Safeway and then paying for it and they would bring back, we would trust them and they would bring back the amount and we would pay it. Mm -hmm. it, was it was amazing. To go back to the um, early days, we did a lot of work with our adult day programs where we would bring in children from local preschools and elementary schools, the Boys and Girls Club, and really do a lot of inter interaction with the elderly and, and the children because we knew the value that the young children brought to the older adults and, and, and vice versa. The young children really didn't have grandmas and grandpas close by necessarily all the time. So being able to bring them together was always a blessing. And so um, we have an intergenerational day center. It's the only one in the West Valley of its kind. Um, and as far as I know, in the state that actually has a, sh a shared space, physical space, where children and elders come together every day. We're just doing a little tour here. Hi. So we have our... There's a magic to Benavia. The people that work here don't work here for money because they're not the most highly paid. They work here because they love it. And uh, I think that that's the way we feel. We feel when we walk in here, it's like family. Uh, it just, it's a beautiful thing. From its inception in uh, 1981, uh, we had 250 people we served. And last year we touched over 20,000. Whether you're a little one or you're an elder, it's all about having the best quality of life 
for everyone. Please help me welcome to the podium Michelle Dionisio from Benavia. Thank you. Well, I have to tell you that um, I was a little nervous about coming up, and usually it's not, I don't usually get this nervous, but um, I just want to say thank you to the Arizona Interfaith Movement. Um, we actually, our organization, when we started, it was amazing because it was a group of citizens who saw a need in their local community and said, we need to come together and make a difference and do something to help our neighbors and friends. And with that, they approached the local ministerial association, and the ministerial association was very instrumental in helping us to get started to get the volunteers, to get the support and donations. We had the local service clubs. It became truly a community effort. And to think 32 years ago, the founding mothers and fathers who had that vision, and today to be as strong as we are, and our programs are actually being replicated in other parts of the state, throughout the United States, it is really, really an honor to be part of such a great organization. I will say too that every community has this opportunity. We have so many people who care about others. We just have to ask. Um, I wanna give a special recognition to the board and the staff that are here today. Um, without their leadership and support and passion for the work that we do, we wouldn't be able to continue to do our work. I want a, a special shout out um, to Reverend David Burroughs, who was one of the founding fathers who really was involved when I was hired and has stayed with me. He's 92 years old and he continues to be involved with our organization. We're so grateful. And another dear, dear um, person who really has been a, a mentor to me in, in terms of teaching me about aging gracefully and that is Jeannie Jones. Jeannie has been such a wonderful person in helping us with our projects, working with the children and the adults throughout the uh, John Jacobs and Helen Jacobs campus. We are so thrilled to be able to receive this honor and thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle Denisio, ladies and gentlemen. 